I'm going to show an underhook, what to do with an underhook, uh, a couple of techniques off an underhook, but it's going to be a fun uh, fun lesson for me, maybe not so much for you. Got anything to add? If you like the content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, it really helps us out. We have a goal to hit a thousand subscribers, and when you subscribe, you not only add to the account, you help more people see it, which in turn should lead to more and more subscribers. Right, all right, let's get to it. First thing we're going to do, we're going to show what an underhook actually is. So when we have an underhook, I'm going to be underneath Forrest's armpit. I want to put my head in his ear. I want to be outside of him. Right now I can control him pretty well just by using that underhook. If I'm straight with Forrest and he clamps down on an underhook, he's controlling me. So the thing that gives an underhook a lot of power, especially if you're not a really strong guy, like I'm not really all that strong. Uh, a lot of guys are wrestlers like this tall and nothing but muscle. Uh, you know, guys like Scott McGregor or uh, they're really strong like Pat Mix. I don't know how he's so strong, man. Like, he's like Superman somehow. But anyways, when we do an underhook, we want to have the underhook underneath the armpit and we want to be out to the side. My, my forehead should be in his ear. That means I have really good control over his shoulder and his upper body. All right? We're gonna work on that real quick. I'm gonna go in and grab force, underhook, uh, this side, boom, out to the side. I'm gonna grab him, underhook this side. Boom, out to the side. I'm gonna switch over, underhook this side. Boom, just so I can practice getting out to the side, all right? What I see all the time with the kids um, is they do this. Boom, they get the underhook straight, okay? Um, so we always wanna be out on the side so we can control him force, so I can control his head a little bit, okay? Wrestling is about control. It's not being tricky like jujitsu where we're tricking and we're trying to submit. Wrestling's about smashing, being on top, controlling your opponent, okay? Four's gonna do a couple. He's gonna get that underhook, get out this side. Really good. Head in my ear, control me with underhook. Yeah, it's good. Switch sides. Boom, right? Yeah, it's good. Nice control. Switch sides. Right, right out to the side. Switch sides. Boom, okay. Pretty good. All right, before we get too far into our lesson today, I just want to talk about my philosophy in wrestling, okay? I don't want some fast guy to be uh, shooting on my legs all the time. I want to control him. And when I control him, I'm going to be controlling his head. I'm going to be pushing him down. I want to control his breathing, his posture, everything for the entire match. I want to club him. I want to underhook him. I want to move him around. I want to be constantly, constantly putting pressure on his head, okay? This is going to fatigue our opponent. It's going to make his neck tired. He's not going to get a full breath. The force is crunching my head down. The force is crunching my head down. I'm not getting a good breath here. All right? I'm fighting to get my head up. Force is using his body weight. And I got to use a lot of muscle just to come up. And now he's going to snap me right back down into it again. And now I got to come up. And now I'm using a lot of energy. All right? I feel it in my neck. I can't breathe. My back gets fatigued. My abs get fatigued. My legs get fatigued from holding myself up. All right? We want to exhaust our opponent. Exhausted opponents make mistakes. We're going to capitalize on the mistakes. We're going to get takedowns. We're going to get submissions. Whatever we need to do. If we're wrestling, we're going to wrestle him into the ground and we're going to pin him. If we're doing jujitsu, we're going to break him on the feet. We're going to pass his guard. We're going to choke him or we're going to arm bar him. All right? We are going to dominate and we are going to win. That's our philosophy when we're coming to grappling, takedowns, jujitsu. All right? We're not going to just be soft and let them do whatever we want. We're going to control the match. We're going to control where it goes. We're going to decide whether we want to pull a guard or we want to get a takedown. We're going to have the ability to do both, okay? So really make sure we start to learn the underhook because the underhook is the key to controlling somebody, all right? Underhooks are important, and we're going to get right into the lesson. Let's go! All right, now we know what an underhook is. We're going to work on getting it. No one's just going to let me come up to him and... got to stay over here. You keep pushing on me out of the film uh, frame, I think. So you, no one's just going to let you just like, ah, oh, oh, get the underhook, right? So what I need to do is I'm going to club Forrest's head. Just like the snap down, I'm going to club him and get that underhook. When I club Forrest, don't move so much, just uh, relax. When I club Forrest, it opens up his elbow a little bit and it draws him forward. So I'm here, boom, I club him. See that little step? That gives me opportunity to step out to the side and slip my hand in. I make my hand like a knife. And I push it right into here, whoom, just like this. 
Don't try and get in there fist deep like this. It's going to be hard to get through. Make a knife. Loop. Step right through. Uh, as I'm shooting my arm through, I'm stepping to the outside and swinging this other leg around so I can maintain a good grip. Force going to do it a couple times. Club. Underhook. Yes. Good. I'm trying to stay over here so we're in the camp. Club. Underhook. Boom. Yes. Good. Head in the side. Club. Underhook. Boom. Good. Again. Club. Underhook. Boom, boom, good. Now, if you're doing it, you're going to go a couple times. Club, underhook. Ah, good. Control. Club, underhook. Ooh, good. Come back. Club, underhook. Boom. All right, he's going to go. Boom. Yes, good. Nice slap again. Good. Again. Oh. Yeah, nice. Good. So, we've established how to get the underhook. You can do a drill where you go back and forth, two and two snapping each other's head down a little bit, but that's a pretty good start to the lesson. All right, before we get into the lesson too much, we're gonna look at a couple ways to move our opponent with the underhook. So I have underhook in right here. One thing I can do to move forward is I can make a fist and punch him forward. When I punch him forward, it's gonna push him back, okay? The other thing I can do with underhook is I can grab his shoulder and I can pull him towards me, okay? So that's how we push or pull in the underhook, and that's going to be important with every technique that we do today. All right, so make sure you practice that a couple times before we get into the technique. Um, next thing we're going to do, we're going to do club underhook, and we're going to use it to get a body lock. A body lock is going to mean I have an underhook on both sides. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to club force, boom, get out to the side. Uh, can you turn 90, uh, 180 degrees? Or actually, so you back to the camera. So I'm right here, I have one underhook in, my head's right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch this arm up and grab around his waist, both hands. So I'm here, I'm gonna punch like straight through. That's gonna bring his body up just a little bit. I'm gonna step in the hole and lock my hands. So I'm uh, belly to belly with him right now. My hands are locked. I'm gonna bring it down to his lower back. I'm gonna roll these hands. My hands locked just like this, gable grip. I like to trap my thumb in, makes me a little bit stronger. I'm gonna roll my hands in, it's gonna bend his back forward. I'm gonna step, step, put Forrest down on the ground. If I don't like Forrest too much, I can slam his butt in the ground. All right, back to the body lock. So I'm here, I got the underhook. I'm facing Forrest on the angle. I'm gonna punch. As I punch, I'm gonna, when I step in, can you turn just 90 degrees? When I step in, I'm gonna drop my knee so my hip goes underneath his. Boom, to make this lock. As I come up, I'm gonna step up and use that to roll him back. I'm gonna walk him down the mat. Boom, and finish. Cut my partner up. He's gonna do it to me. Underhook. Punches it up. Boom. Grabs the other underhook, steps through. Body lock right by my butt. And bend me down to the mat. Ugh. Yes. If you're old, if you're old, you're gonna fall down easy. Now, where we lock our hands is really, really important, okay? So if I lock up here, I'm gonna crack forces back, but I'm probably not gonna get him to the mat. Felt good, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If I'm right here, I'm close, but force is still strong here. If he's pushing me back, it's gonna be tough, right? If I get down to his butt, I'm gonna be able to bend him, all right? So the spot I'm looking for is right above his buttocks, right where the end of his spine is and his butt starts, the very, very top of his butt cheeks. That's where I'm gonna make the lock. When I rotate my hands, I'm gonna rotate him down like this so I collapse his back. When I step, I'm taking one step, boom, another step, and I'm putting him down on the mat, okay? A little bit more advanced technique. Once I have this locked up, I can step in, lift, and mat return forest, all right? I don't have enough space to do it here. He's gonna kick my ceiling, and he's gonna hit the ground pretty hard. But I would step in, lift, so his feet are coming up. I'm gonna use my thigh, bump his thigh down, and slam him down to the mat. Um, you have to get a, a lesson with me to, to get that one in. I can't really show that one here. But uh, that's the other alternative to the body lock if you want to add a lift to it. All right, it's a pretty easy technique. 
Right, the next technique we're gonna do, we're gonna go under hook, we're gonna do a motorcycle kick, and we're gonna hit an ankle pick, all right? This is just a far side ankle pick. So once again, we're gonna club under hook. Boom, boom, get the under hook in deep. I'm out to the side. When I do this, I'm gonna step my foot in. Uh, can you back out of camera a little bit? To step my foot in, I'm just gonna take a, a back step, boom, and kick my leg in, all right? It's almost like I'm trying to kickstart a motorcycle. What I'm trying to do is catch my hamstring right over the top of Forrest's thigh. I don't want to hit him in the knee or the leg. If I go too low, Forrest is just going to jump over, jump, boom. And we're going to end up in this position where we end up in a front headlock kind of situation. I don't want that to happen. When I go, I want to make sure that I'm hitting him. So I'm going to back step in, boom, and I'm going to kick his leg up. See what happened with Forrest when I kicked his leg up? What happened? Where did your hand go? His hand goes to the mat, and that's the effect I'm looking for. Step back a little bit because we're going to travel a little bit of space. I'm going to kick that leg, boom, come in, pull the ankle out. Um, depending on how the opponent falls, we're either going to be on top and side control or guard. Jiu-Jitsu guys, when you get here and you kick them, are already going to start to jump guard. They're not going to play around. So you really have to kick hard and chop that ankle. Uh, to get to the ankle, I'm not totally bending over at the waist. I'm almost pistol squatting. So I'm going to be here. I got the underhook deep. I'm going to kick. And I'm going to... You alright? I'm going to kick. I'm going to bend my knee. I'm still trying to get my hips underneath his. So when I pull the ankle, I can just pull it up. Uh, I'm going to do it without uh, this leg up. When I get down to his ankle, I'm not... Um, just pulling it up or uh, it matters what way I pull. When I pull, I'm gonna pull it up diagonally, just like I'm doing a row on the bench, like this kind of row right here. Cause I want the leg to come in on an angle, so I twist him as I take him to the mat. I'm gonna be right here, kick this leg up, boom, pull it in and twist. So he falls like this and he doesn't get a chance to scoot. If I do it, and I just pull him out and he lands on his hip, Boom, when he lands on his hip, he can still fight here. He's going to kick his legs out behind him or go to guard, and he's going to come up and fight me, okay? So it's important I deposit him on his butt, all right? In wrestling, we always want to finish him on his butt. If we put him on his hip, he can either guard us up like Forrest tried to do, or he's going to get back to his feet and continue to wrestle if we're in a wrestling match, okay? So if you're doing this for wrestling, you want to make sure you rotate all the way through so his butt hits the mat and not his hip. I'm not going to show the front headlock series. I got a lot of stuff from front headlock too. We'll get into it at a later wrestling date. But I can also get a, into a front headlock from this position, okay? So once again, I'm going to snap. Boom. Underhook. I got a nice good underhook. Um, what I can do here is I can pull force this time. I'm going to pull him with the underhook. I'm going to keep his head snapped down. And I'm going to cover him, all right? When I cover him... The top of my shoulder needs to go into the base of his neck. So I'm trying to put this shoulder right here, right in the base of his neck. Because if I don't, and I'm just right here, Forrest is going to pull his head out. Boom, or come up, all right? We're going to be in this position where he can still fight me, and it's going to be a really, really tough... Uh, I'm going to have a really, really tough time holding Forrest down and controlling his head. But if I'm here, and when I go to snap, pull my cover with my shoulder, trying to fight me at Forrest, it's already tough for him to fight, all right? So I want to make sure I cover the shoulder. The next step I'm going to do, I'm just going to sprawl my legs back, and we're going to fall down on the mat. So when we fall down on the mat, make sure you protect your face. I don't want to dump your face in the mat. You're so handsome, man. Like, I would hate to have you not be handsome anymore, all right? So we're going to be here, club, underhook, boom, pull, right into here, and I'm going to snap. Boom, right to my front headlock series, all right? We'll go over the front headlock series at a later date. But it's a really, really good series. Got some chokes off of there. All kinds of cool stuff. One more we can do that I really like too is uh, gonna be club, boom, underhook, boom. I'm gonna turn him one more time. As I turn him, I'm just gonna drop my head, boom, blast double like we did earlier. All right? This one's really mean, so you know I like it.
All right, so to get the proper setup for it, we're gonna club underhook. Boom, I'm gonna turn force. I'm gonna pull his shoulder, pull his head. As he lines up, I let his head go, his head comes up a little bit, I change levels, put my face right in his shoulder, and I drive him down to the mat, all right? This last double, I do not need to take a drop step. I just dump my hips, head in the center, boom, and smell the fear. Remember, smell the fear means forehead. I'm not gonna hit you hard. Means forehead in the chest, not my nose. Nose in the chest, what does my nose do for us? Look at the camera. Forrest told me the other day, he wasn't scared of my head in the chest. Oh. He's scared of my nose poking him, why is that? Because it's been broken so many times and it hurts. Yeah, so it's hard. I uh, normally I show this, I show hitting force with my nose in the chest, but he specifically said that hurts a lot, so don't do that to him anymore, or he's gonna slap the silly out of me. So remember when we say smell the fear, I'm not sticking my big nose in there, I'm putting my forehead in there. And I don't want to do this, I don't want to crawl my head where my neck is like in a position to get hurt. So my head is up, my eyes are looking at my target, I look all the way into Force's chest when I touch him with this. One more time. Claw, underhook, control, I'm gonna spin him. Boom, as I spin him, my foot closest to him is my lead leg. As he comes up, I just change levels, explode into him. All right? A very easy takedown. It's a little bit aggressive, it's kind of my style. Um, I'm all about being in the face and clubbing and clubbing and staying in the tie-up. I like the tie-ups a lot. Um, if you don't have a great shot, having a good underhook series is a really, really good way to get into wrestling range and not deal with someone that can shoot and keep taking you down over and over again. It gets embarrassing after a while when you get these young athletic kids, you know, 19, 20, shooting on your legs, putting you down all the time. You want to tie them up and get into the underhook or... So, what did you think about today's lesson, Forrest? I didn't like it. No. Nah. I just didn't like getting clubbed. <laughs> Forrest doesn't like to get clubbed or underhook, but uh, we thought we had a technical error. We thought we lost the whole thing. Thank God my phone saved it before it died. Uh, it was almost a scary moment. I was like, ah! And uh, Forrest was like, I don't want to do it anymore today. Let's do it tomorrow. <laughs> so it was a really good thing that uh, it was still on there. So got some kind of blessing. You guys are going to get a lesson today. Uh, anything else before we get out of here? Nope. All right. I got to thank you for uh, uh, oh, geez. Uh, Carrie Myers, 200 subscriber. 200 we're at. That's awesome. We got 200 subscriptions. 800 to go. Yeah. Think your body can take 800 more of these? 800 more clubs? No, 800 more uh, lessons. Oh, yeah. All right. So we'll be back. Same bad time. Same bad channel on Saturday. Got the HD camera coming in. So the next one should be even better. Yeah. This. We're out. If you like what you see here, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps us out. It helps us get out there. And uh, when you subscribe, you'll be, well, you probably see more of our content and you'll help more people see our content. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.